Q. And ServiceNow Knowledge 14 is sponsored by ServiceNow. Here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. Good morning from San Francisco. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick. We're here live at Moscone South at the ServiceNow Knowledge 14 conference. This is day two for us. Uh, Jeff and I were here yesterday, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We had an amazing day. Executives like Frank Slootman came on. Uh, we had uh, uh, Jeffrey Moore on, authors like uh, Martha Heller. Talking a lot about CIOs, talking about transforming the IT organization from uh, a cost focus, cost uh, 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 budget focus, to really a value producer and how ServiceNow is, is the tip of the spear in terms of enabling that and, and catalyzing that. Uh, we also heard yesterday from customers. You know, one of the things, Jeff, that was most impressive to me is Frank Slootman in his keynote yesterday put forth the premise, call it even a challenge to IT organizations, that they need to really, the CIO really needs to be a business leader. Um, I, you know, I we, we talked to Frank about that. I said, yeah, I'm a little skeptical, Frank. Really, is the CIO really going to be a business leader? And then we had Atticus Tyson on from Intuit. Atticus Tyson came from the business side of the house. So right. he can talk margins, he can talk distribution channels, you know, he can talk small, medium business. He ran R&D, he can talk engineering. So that to me was the, the, the prototype of, of, a, of a CEO. Uh, we talked to guys from Red Hat. Um, you know, the CIO of Symantec uh, came on and, and very much uh, transforming into a service-oriented uh, model. You know, Wikibon, we talk a lot about uh, the move, uh, IT uh, transformation and the move to a services oriented environment, to a, a services catalog. And the big challenge that we're always told is it's difficult for IT people to speak the language of business, to you know, translate geek into wallet. Um, but that's really what's happening at this event. Uh, I think much more so even than last year. Last year the focus was on problem management, change management, even though the messaging was beyond that. When you talk to the customers, that's really where their heads were at. Very clearly with the introduction of App Creator, this capability, which is essentially platform as a service, even though ServiceNow doesn't really use that term like everybody else who's doing a land grab in that space. But it's essentially a capability to allow regular people really to build applications. And you're seeing the result of that uh, here at Knowledge14. The hashtag is No14. This is the Cube. The Cube is a live mobile studio, uh, SiliconANGLE Wikibons, flagship uh, uh, programming. We go out to events, we extract the signal from the noise, and we cover wall to wall these types of events. Jeff, quick take. Uh, you saw Fred Luddy's keynote this morning. We got Fred Luddy coming on uh, uh, just in about five minutes. Uh, what's your quick take on what you saw yesterday, what you heard today from Fred, and what you expect going forward? So I think the other uh, you know, kind of service-oriented enterprise is the service that the IT departments are delivering to their customers inside their own company. And we had an interesting conversation with Sheila from Symantec about whether you know, chargebacks and, and really treating them like a, a customer and should they be able to sell to third parties. But the piece that, that was consistent is you know, having internal developers spend time with internal customers on the actual use of the application. Um, and really spending time as they would as if it was a paying customer to do all the little things to make the app better. Uh, Fred's keynote this morning was very funny, uh, very spicy as, as, they, as they always are. I don't know, we do a lot of shows, Dave, and I don't know in terms of a, a, a frequency of applause per unit time of a keynote if anybody beats Fred. He's up there and, and you know he's got a ton of little improvements. He's got um, a lot of really how to help people get through their day better, faster, and then uh, a couple little jabs here and there uh, along the way. I tweeted he got a near standing O for showing tabs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was amazing. So, so, so that's good. Uh, we got, we, uh, Fred showed some, some leg on Eureka, which is an unannounced product, but it's, you know, it's the worst kept secret in the ServiceNow community. Uh, talked about share. So we're going to talk to Fred Luddy about all those things. Fred's a fantastic guest. If you haven't seen Fred, stay tuned. He'll be on in just about five minutes. Um, the founder of ServiceNow, uh, stepped down as CEO. He's not CEO, he's not chairman, he's chief product officer. It's just an awesome story, so we're going to unpack that with Fred. Uh, so keep it right there. Uh, Jeff Frick and I will be back. This is theCUBE, we're live from Knowledge14. Hashtag No14, you can tweet us, I'm at D Vellante, he's at Jeff Frick. Check out our, our crowd chat. We've got a crowd chat going on at crowdchat.net slash No14. Crowd chat, awesome engagement app, so check that out. Tweet us questions. We'll be right back from Moscone.
this is the cube.